Hey guys, Tony, KD8RTT. Um, I want to do a little video showing this little setup I made. Um, I guess you could call it like a two meter go kit. Um, it's not what I designed it for. Um, what I wanted was a two meter base station, really. Um, I have a two meter mobile in my car and uh, I like it in there. Um, I don't do a whole lot of two meter operation from um, anywhere other than my car, really. So I didn't want to buy a new rig, but I had this stuff lying around for the most part. So I thought, why don't I make it into something? So it's all based around a Baofeng UV5R, um, which I had. Um, and I don't know if you, yep, you can see it. The, uh, that's the HTA20 um, two meter amplifier Radio Shack one. I've done a review on it in the past. So I'll put the link either in the description or as an annotation, you can check that out. And I want to make a little, little kit, basically. So what I did, I took those um, and took an ammo can I had. This is the ammo can, took the lid off. Um, Although the lid will fit on when I'm transporting it or something, and built this up. So, basically what I did is I took a U-bolt and put it through the bottom of the case. Now you can see it's a little bit off the ground and it's uneven, so I gotta figure out a way to kind of balance that out um, so it doesn't rock if you kind of put, I mean it will rock a bit, not a big problem, but did that, drill the holes for those, put that through, um, and then there's a mounting bracket that came with this amplifier Drilled some holes up here, bolted that through. Um, and then the rest of it's really just cabling. Um, to power it, I didn't want to use a full power supply. I didn't want to buy one, didn't have one that was, didn't have one that was suitable. So I took a little, um, out of the way, a four amp hour sealed lead acid. So I took that and made this custom cable that goes to a, uh, like a cigarette lighter adapter. And from there, that plugs into a splitter back here um, that connects the amplifier, um, the radio, I have the battery eliminator in the radio, so it just powers straight off of the uh, 12 volts there. And then I also made a cable that, um, this, I think it's the one in the front here, it's um, a charging cable. I had this charger for sealed lead acid um, and some tabs, so I just cut up an extension cable, an extension cigarette lighter cable, made that the charging cable, and plugged that into the splitter also. So the charger, the radio, and the amp are all plugged into the splitter. The splitter plugs in to the battery. So what that lets me do um, is use this little wimpy charger, which on its own couldn't supply enough power to power everything, but it kind of uses the battery as a buffer. Since I'm not going to be using, talking on this a whole lot, um, four amp hours is more than enough, and um, the battery, basically it'll draw the battery from, or the power from the battery and then recharge it, always kind of standing by. Uh, with the rechar re recharging. So I'll leave this plugged in all the time basically and just turn the radio on and the amp on when I want to use it. <clears throat> That's pretty simple. Um, from there I've just got the Baofeng through an adapter, right angle into the amp, and the amp goes out to this antenna on top. So I'll take this. So this is the standard mag mount two meter um, antenna, nothing special. Stick it on top of the case and uh, you know it works. Um, the issue, only issue there is there's all this extra slack of coax, which for now I've just been kind of throwing behind it because uh, this is sitting like up on, uh, well, eventually be up on my workbench probably, so I'll just lay behind there, but I just have it kind of sitting behind it bunched up. Um, so that's something that's not ideal. And there's not really space to coil it up in there. Um, so that's not ideal, but it's not really a problem. Um, I have a speaker mic that I just, um, clip on this, I put this little command hook strip uh, in there just to hang it. I mean, again, it's, that's not perfectly ideal, but you can push it all in um, and fit the charger in there too, if you kind of jam it all in. And um, basically everything will fit in the box with the lid on, except for the antenna, of course. Um, that'll have to be separate. So easy way to transport it. Um, so yeah, that's a simple way. I mean, the cable, I, I could probably do a lot better with the cable management behind there. And um, I used a giant, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a pretty big uh, cigarette lighter splitter because I already had it. Um, I thought about doing power poles, but I had all this stuff terminated already. Um, it just seemed like more trouble. And of course, if I want to maybe use this Baofeng in the car with a battery eliminator, I didn't want to chop off that. Um, so, you know, kind of still keep it, you know, not, not too specific to this. I could take this apart and use everything as is no problem. Um, so yeah, everything kind of fits in there, jams in there, and it's, it's 
rather small to be honest. I mean, um, it's probably about the same size as you would get for a mobile station with a power supply, um, a little bigger, but uh, not a problem there. And it is, you know, also if the power goes out or something, I could still use on a four amp hour battery for a while, um, especially if I leave the amp off. I mean, most repeaters I can hit with just the bow fung, but the amp's kind of nice. Um, we do a simplex net back at college. I'm gonna be living off campus, not that far, but I don't know if five watts will get me there, but I think the 40 from the amp will do it. Or 30, <laughs> can't remember. Um, but anyways, I, think, I mean, that won't be a problem. So yeah, that's just kind of a simple way to make a go box. This stuff's, I was surprised how easy it was to drill through this. Um, I just used a standard drill, you know, the regular, might have even been a wood bit, which yeah, it was a cheap bit, so. Um, but it went right through it, no problem really. Um, and if you have most of the stuff, it's not that expensive. You could get away with out doing the amp, put it in like this, um, put a bigger battery maybe, or I don't know, something else. Um, one downside of this design is this amp is two meter specific. Um, it won't even let you use 440 because it's filtered, has an extra helical filter in there. So I don't, when the amp is off, I don't think it's bypassed. I don't think that I'm not sure about. Um, and since this doesn't really give me an SWR indication, um, I can't be too sure of it without putting the, putting a different radio on there, but actually I don't know if I have one that'll do that. So can't check that. So 440 doesn't work directly. I suppose I could disconnect the amp and hook it right up to the radio if I wanted to. Um, also the receive because of the filter in the amp, the receive capabilities out of two meter band is, you know, bad. But really, I only use a two meter band. I wouldn't use this radio as a scanner. I have a proper scanner for that. So this is really just two meter um, setup, and that's what, because that's what I use the most other than HF. So wanted to get something together. So again, um, this, I mean, if you were to buy all the parts and build this, it, it would be fairly expensive, probably about maybe a little bit more even than a basic two meter rig. Um, I don't know about including the power supply. It'd be close. Um, if you, if you, I wouldn't go out and buy, let me just say that. I wouldn't go out and buy this stuff to build this. Um, I built this because I had most of it lying around and uh, it just was a little bit of time to get it all together. And I had to get like a couple little things, but um, you know, I just want to repurpose what I have without spending money. So thought I'd share that with you guys. I know there's a ton of different go kits. And again, that's not really my intention for this. Um, this isn't really made for that, but it would work for that. So I thought I'd throw it up and show you guys. So, all right, uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for anything. Um, obviously I know I can clean up the cabling um, and there's probably some other things I can improve on. So let me know if you have any ideas. Um, uh, yeah, so, all right guys, we'll see you later, 73.